I hope you see this, right? I don't know how to explain myself. I swear an oath of allegiance before I became a citizen of the United States. And I also swear an oath of allegiance before I joined the United States Army. I can't be working, putting my life on line, and not having the rest of mine. I have my dad and my mom back in Nigeria. And I hope you see what is going on right now in Nigeria. This is what you can do. I know you can. You have the power. You have the ability to do it. Please, get this done. I am ready to bear arms against Nigeria. Please, let's invade Nigeria. Let's put an end to a tyranny government. Let's put an end to a tyrant, to a tyrant government. Please. I have my father, I have my mother, I have my sister, my sister there. It's of no use for me being here at peace of mind and they are leaving. More than one percent ready to bear arms against Nigerian government, to bear arms against Nigerian politicians, to bear arms against the Nigerian army. I am 101% ready. Please, let us do this. Let us invade Nigeria and get liberation for these people. Please. Like I said, I have my dad. I have my mom. I have my sister by right there. Please. I am 101% ready. Let us invade this country. Please. UK is useless because they colonize Nigeria and they see things happening but they decided not to talk about it because they are benefiting from it.
local sorrow into a rallying cry, helping bring holiday music and cheer to folks all around the country. Our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, has that story. It's a different kind of military service. When old Santa gets into town. One that brings hope, inspiration, and a way for all of us to connect to the American soldier. But this year, Walking in a week. like everyone else, the band had to adjust to the new COVID world. From Washington, D.C., the United States Army Band. In a matter of weeks, the band learning the skills to produce television quality programs and broadcasting to millions around the world. This year, if they aren't collaborating remotely, they're staying socially distant. It's a way that we can give the public something that they have come to expect and rely on and hopefully inspire them that, that even though these are tough times, that we're still here for them. The performers must undergo a rigorous audition before they join the Army Band, but for Staff Sergeant Eric Tue, who grew up on the islands of American Samoa, that was no problem. My dad, he's had a nickname in the islands for a long time. He was, he was called the, the Samoan Elvis. <laughs> but I've learned singing in church and also from my parents. Ooh, I wish I can sing for them. Tue and his ensemble have now performed for countless live audiences. The yearly holiday shows in Washington, especially popular. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. What kind of things did you have to do to make make your voice heard or, or make it be a dynamic experience? You know, I call out to the random nobody's in the seats. There's no one in the seats, but I'm like... I know I see you out there clapping your hands. I see you. For Tue, that positive attitude was especially challenging this year. He lost three family members within months. I always believe that there's someone out there that's either going through something worse than you. And if there's anything or any part of my life that I can share that can uplift that person, I am 100% willing to. What's your New Year's wish? My one wish is just that people continue to love and enjoy and be happy this new year. I know it's difficult, but to continue to stay strong, fight the good fight. We can do this. We're made for this. For Good Morning America, I'm Martha Raddatz in Washington. Well, hey there.